Hey y'all, this is Ernie Vaughn coming at you from six miles South Carolina with Bondarosa Farms. Hope everybody's having a wonderful evening, had a wonderful day. Uh, where I'm at, what I'm doing right now, it's, it's Thursday night, about 10 o'clock. Yep, a little bit after 10. Uh, like I said, hope everybody's doing good. I know times are crazy. A lot of crazy stuff going on in this country. But all, you know, the biggest thing we can do right now is stay upbeat and stay positive. Um, I don't want to get much more in detail tonight about that. I could go real deep, in my opinions, but I'm not. I'm doing a couple things tonight. Uh, one, one thing I'm going to do is talk about the above ground bluegill pond, give you a little update on that, and I hope my daughter can put some blooper kind of scenes we've done today in on that. Uh, we did have a major setback. Uh, and what that was briefly, which I'll show you more of that in detail, uh, because she's coming close, she's getting close to getting finished, and I'm just wanting to give you a little taste and you know what 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 is to come. But we, we got it built. We got you know it's almost built. We got enough to hold water. We filled up the full pool. Uh, and my spans, which I really I don't like stuff moving. Uh, it moved a lot, even the the way I built it. We had a full pool. Uh, my spans was an inch and a half off. Uh, a one-eyed blind man could seen that. So what I did, and I'm going to show you that too later. Uh, we drained it. Uh, we done some things that were it ain't going to move. Uh, and right now we got we got 50 bluegill in it. Uh, it's about half pool. I like to do that a little slow. I'm hoping by tomorrow evening she's going to be full pool and do a nice finished video on that. But what I'm asking y'all for tonight, this ain't no giveaway. Uh, I guess my giveaway, my giveaway would be when we get the pond finished. Um, but what I'm asking y'all for, I'm wanting to get up to 50 subscribers in about the next two weeks when I get that last video up. I get a lot of views as far as my channel. And, and let me tell you, I'm brand new to YouTube. I'm a little over four months into it. I've got, I think, 31 subscribers, getting up close to 1,800 views. I just want to reach 50 subscribers. So if you watch my videos, any of them, subscribe if you would. Because on the other hand, I really don't care. I mean, I really want to reach that, and if I don't, I don't. Because I started this thing, uh, and I'll be doing other videos on that too, trying to help young people start small businesses. And this project we're doing is turn, turning into a major project, and I'm going to show you anything and everything about it. Uh, if I leave something out or don't say it, all you got to do is leave me a comment. But I'm asking people, uh, when you watch this, you look forward to seeing the finished thing, which is really cool, and it's got another multi-purpose. Uh, we may put a clip in that if my daughter can edit it. But we're doing some cool other stuff uh, with that pond. Like I said earlier, maybe part one we would be doing. It's got multi-functions. Y'all, that's cool. Uh, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. But we've got 50 bluegill in it right now. We've got 50 more, supposedly. I don't know if I get them out of the 600-gallon uh, system in the fish barn. But we got roughly 50 more to put in there. We've got another fish that I'm, I'm breeding in tanks, and I'm going to show you that. I may start doing that, too. Uh, some tilapia. Uh, I got some of them in. I'm going to be uh, building up some, uh, what they call that, uh, breeding colonies, fryers, uh, fry, not fryers, fry. When they get big enough, they fryers. But fry and also fingerlings. Uh, so that's going to be two fish, and we got another fish that we're probably going to be adding into it. I've been doing a lot of research on that, so it's really cool. 
So if y'all would help me out a little bit, man, uh, hit that subscribe button. Help me build this channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of different things. Uh, so many new things is coming up. But what we're doing here on the farm, uh, in conjunction possible with Fairview Water Gardens. And uh, if you get the opportunity in business, like I've said before, you take advantage of it. Now, I know with all this corona, corona virus, I call it corona, things have been set back, people's discouraged. And then we have all these riots, thugs, burning businesses, destroying businesses, uh, civil unrest. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, that puts starting your small business on the back burner. But I encourage you to do that big time, and I'm about to get into politics. Because there's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of organizations, big organizations, big corporations. But anyway, you know, just to in that rabbit trail, there's a lot of forces out there trying to, I believe, slow down, stop small business. Um, I think they want to control you. Uh, so I encourage young people, middle-aged people, any people, start that small business. But that video, this video ain't about that. This video, man, it, it isn't a lot harder. And I, I, I'm asking y'all to help my channel out, encourage me, because I got so many more I'm going to do. And I tell you this, too, whether you do or not, I'm going to keep doing it. You know what I mean? So, help me out. Show me a little love. Hit the subscribe button. I want to get up to 50. That's my first goal and milestone. So, I don't need but just a few of y'all to do that. And I guarantee you when you see that above ground bluegill food pond, you're going to love it. So, till the next time, like I always try to tell you, don't forget to take time to smell the roses. Be thankful for what you got. Appreciate what you got and help somebody out. See ya. Rain with the bluegill. Food pond in a poo hole. They was having a blast. Hey y'all, this is Marty. Me and my grandson Toby, we're on the way to move some more bluegill to the bluegill farm. Uh, and we're going to see how high he can take it. Oh, he said that's enough. That's enough. He does that pretty good. There he is. Now we're going to crank it up and go for a ride of the line. <laughs> yeah, we're going to crank it up. Right back. Right back, my folks. Right back. Hey, it's a good one.